Today we're going to be looking at a few different ways that you can transfer graphics or words or pictures onto a piece of furniture, a piece of wood to make signs, just like these here. Fresh eggs, groceries, coffee. You can do signs or you can update a piece of furniture, an ordinary looking coffee table which I've painted with milk paint and then transferred on a graphic, a French graphic, any kind of antique graphic to make an authentic aged piece of furniture. <laughs> so let's get started. For our first method, we're going to be using transfer paper. Transfer paper or freezer paper can come in sheets like this or it may come in a roll. You can get it from craft stores and hobby shops. It has a shiny, glossy surface and then it has a matte or a normal paper surface. The first thing you're going to want to do is print out the piece, the little graphic that you want in reverse. So you'll see that the writing is all back to front and make sure your image is in reverse because what you're going to be doing is putting the ink face down. So I've printed this piece in reverse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just cut this to a little bit smaller size so it'll fit on our block of wood and we'll be able to center it a bit easier. Just remember that too, you print on the glossy side, don't print on the matte side because what it's actually doing is it's putting your ink, and I used an ordinary inkjet printer. What we're doing is putting that wet ink, so don't touch it either or it'll smudge. We're putting the wet ink down, face down onto the piece of wood. So this is a fairly easy method, but you'll see that the different methods have different clarity finishes and that sort of thing. So I'm just going to try and center that. You can barely see the outside image on there and we're good to go. So once you've got it placed down, you don't want to move it. And we're going to be rubbing it with a spoon to transfer the ink onto the piece of wood. I'm just going to have a peek. Yeah, it's starting to work and you know, you'll get the practice. This is probably a fairly rough surface wood so it may not turn out as well because I don't have the full capacity to rub in all the different little cracks and crevices, but you'll get the idea. And if you did it on a nice smooth surface with maybe a light color, it would work well. So there we go. That's a little bit of the idea of what you can do. I'm not really totally happy with the way this one turned out, the freezer paper method. So I'd like to show you a little bit better on how to do that. I think it was because it's a very rough surface. And so this method, it's probably better to use a really smooth, flat surface. So I do have another piece of wood here that I found so I can show you. Hopefully this will work out better this time. So I've got a bigger image, same image, but it's a lot larger. And I'm just going to put that on now and Wish me luck. I think this is called burnishing. Okay, looking a lot better. That's better. So as you can see, it's a whole lot better than using it on a rough surface. And that's the freezer paper method. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe.